I just had a thought actually, um, if this is really good, I'd be able to call it fine art, wouldn't I? <laughs> I'd be interested to see, I don't know what fine art is. What is fine art? Um, marketing? I don't know. Bullshit. Hi guys and welcome back to my little channel. Well, um, I've been waiting for this full moon for, well, a month I guess. And um, we've got great conditions over the next few evenings. Just been out for three hours and exposed one sheet of film and I think it's probably a complete waste of time. Uh, I need to sort out, I need to figure out how to do the um, infinity on the bellows so I don't need to focus. Um, yeah, God knows what I've ended up with. So tomorrow I'm going to um, fiddle about with the camera in the daylight, suss out infinity focus, mark it on the camera, and then if I find myself in a situation where there's nothing solid to focus on, at least I can fall back on that. So, but anyway, I'll be out over the next few evenings. I've got a few ideas. Hopefully it'll work out. Okay, so I've set the um, bellows at 90 millimeters. I can almost get it in focus on those little lights on the mount. You get so much more light with the uh, video camera than you do in reality. And we're gonna go for uh, F11, uh, 40 minutes, based on you know, my sort of experience. Uh, the the, the uh, Godrevi Lighthouse shot was about 40 minutes. I'll put that one up at some point during this video probably need to because some of these photos will probably be uh, beyond bad. So there we go. Um, that was about 35 minutes I've settled for and uh, you can see how much it's changed during that time. Uh, there was a big bank of cloud over the you know alongside the mount when I took the shot. And now the sky is completely clear. Uh, the bank of cloud to the left has kind of stayed in place, but the other one's just completely gone. So I uh, don't know, you know, who knows what we've got? We'll, uh, we'll find out at some stage. So um, I may do one more shot tonight. I may go home. Battery's almost flat on the uh, video, so yeah, we'll see. Anyway, it's time to uh, finish this exposure. Here we go. Well, I tell you what, I'm quite excited about this. Um, yeah, this looks all right. I've uh, managed to get it all in focus, I think, and uh, even able to do a few movements on the um, on the front. So this is the village where I live. Um, there's worse places to end up. Uh, that's us done for this evening. Uh, it's quarter to one, I think. Uh, I'm working hard for you guys, so do us a favor, click that like button, you know. Do I have to beg? <laughs> right, I'm gonna beg. Okay, so, um, well, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Um, let's have a very quick look through these images. I apologize because I really had planned to actually do some more stuff, but um, unfortunately, first of all, the last two nights it's been cloudy, I'm gutted to see that. 
and then also I put my back out. I mean, yesterday I spent like the whole day in bed. Uh, you know, I'm almost glad it was cloudy because had it been a, an amazing sky and an amazing full moon, I would have just had to have looked out the window out of it with frustration. Okay, so uh, image one. The funny thing with this one is when I took it almost as soon as I clicked the shutter, I thought, this is boring. This is going to be a boring photo. Um, and I stand by that. And I had to stand by the camera for 40 minutes having that thought. Um, nonetheless, exposure wise, I'm still pleased with what I ended up with, given the fact that I just couldn't see anything. Um, number two, yeah, I was really pleased with this image. Um, I feel as if there's more to it than meets the eye, as in the, the star trails. You know, if you stick that on Instagram, no one will ever notice the star trails going on. Um, I've said it before, uh, just a testament really to. Uh, sticking some HP5 in, developing it with 510 Pyro and exposing that that image for 35, 40 minutes. Every time I do it, I still, in my heart, feel as if it's all gonna go wrong. And then when I see the negative, it's like, oh my God, look at that, look at that. Looks like I took it in the daytime. Uh, so yeah, I was really pleased with that. Uh, and as for the last one, um, once again, I mean, very different exposure, three minutes, but I base that upon my experience of other exposures. You know, I, there's another video I've made where I take a photo of the same clock from across the water. Um, and the best one was around three minutes, so I just took a punt. The other one, which I did at f11, four minutes, don't know what happened. I think I must have kicks the um, tripod or something with my foot something vibrated uh, tonality wise I think it was probably better but the bottom end of the image had some very very slight um, vibration you know slight slightly out of focus I'll never know why doesn't matter thank God I actually bracketed that one um, yeah so this draws this little video to a conclusion the conclusion is um, it's harder to get out the front door and do it than it is to actually do it. Does that make any sense? Well, anyway, it does to me. And um, thank you for watching. See you soon.